Good morning, sharing all the world. It is Monday again. I went to bed at like four in the morning, so I am a bit tired. I had to take a shower just to clear my head so I could make this video. So, yeah. First of all, I want to apologize to all of our subscribers, because I know these past couple of weeks have been a bit messy, because we are really busy at the moment with vacations and, and work and whatnot. So I guess you can't really blame us for not uploading videos all the time, but it'll change, I promise. Luckily, there's some really awesome people who are helping us out. I can't say thank you enough to all of those who've filled in for us when we weren't able to make videos. You guys are the best. Yeah. Amanda and Louisa, thank you so much for filling in for Michelle and Celia. It, it really means a lot. You, you girls are the best. And there's questions. My favorite sport, much like his, I don't do much sport-ish activities. I mean, I ride my bike a lot, but I don't think that that'll classify as a sport because I don't ride my bike. Well, I ride my bike because it takes me places, not because it keeps me fit and healthy and stuff. And we have a ping pong table in our garage, but we rarely use it, and when we do, it's just my mom and I who like to play for fun, not because we're interested in ping pong as a as a sport. Yeah, this is interesting stuff. Uh, Kez, you asked the question as well, where I'm going on holiday. I went to Italy, but now I'm back, as you know, and I guess my next big holiday will be in a month when I go to London to meet you, Kez, and other awesome YouTubers at Summer in the City. I am so excited, I can't... <laughs> I can't express my excitement in words, so instead I'll dance around like a crazy person. Lovisa introduced the Five Awesome Girls dice game to this channel, which I love. To be honest, I can't really remember if you said that we should all use the dice, or if it was just you this one time. Anyways, but I am gonna use it as well, because I think it's a great idea, and we used to do it on my old collab channel as well, actually. Let me just say that keeping this dice game up is kind of difficult, because at one point there'll just be so many challenges that it's impossible to complete them all. So to avoid reaching that point on this channel, I suggest that we use the dice this week, and see if we like the format slash game slash um, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what it is, but um, if we like it, I guess we can keep on using this dice to set challenges and stuff, but if it's too too much with all the challenges and how we're always away and stuff, I guess we can just put the dice away and never think of it again. First of all, I need a dice, which I have here. Now that's professionalism. Okay, so whoever I roll will have to wear a hat in their video this week. I think that's a nice and easy challenge. Let's do this! Oh, damn it. Uh, where is it? Oh! Two! I guess that's you, Kez. So I'm looking forward to seeing you wearing a hat tomorrow. Hey! Moving on to something more important. Tomorrow night I will be at an event at my local cinema where they show part one and two of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows and I'm on the edge of a breakdown, that's, that's what I am. I know a lot of people say that, oh, I don't know what I'll do when the movie is ending and stuff, but, but I'm, I honestly don't know what I'll do when the movie is ending. Cause the Harry Potter fandom has given me so much throughout my life, and I, I don't want it to end. And I know, I know it's not the end. I mean, there's a lot of great fan fiction out there, and you can reread the series uh, and st stuff. Yeah, and one of my subscribers sent me a link to this really great fanfiction called James Potter that I have never heard of before. I mean, I don't know how that's possible because it looks amazing. I haven't read it yet, but I mean, from what I've seen so far, it just, it looks great. And I'll definitely be reading that as soon as I'm done with The Great Gatsby, which I'm currently reading for The Blubbing Book Club. Ah, <sighs> I need to stay on topic. Harry Potter. I think if you go back far enough, you can trace everything I've done on YouTube back to my love for Harry Potter because back when I was just a small child who didn't have that many friends, I started looking on the internet for people who shared my love for Harry Potter and I found this great Danish fan site called Azkaban.dk and, <laughs> and I remember how, um, you know how uh, some like big websites uh, have their own taglines, like Reddit is, um, the tagline for Reddit is the front page of the internet and stuff. Um, well, the tagline for Azkaban.dk is, it's in Danish but I'll just say it in English, you can't, ex you can't escape. Um, and because <laughs> and because I didn't know very much about the internet back then, I thought that this website was 
some sort of virus and it would follow me for the rest of my life. And to be honest, it sort of has because Azkaban.dk is still one of my top sites on, on my browser. And it was the people on this website who like showed me links to YouTube videos uh, relating to Harry Potter and it was then that I started realizing how amazing online communities are. And it was because of this that when the seventh book came out I decided to travel all the way to London to lie in a queue for almost an entire day outside uh, Waterstone Bookshop in London uh, just, just, just to get Deathly Hallows. I mean that is insane but I don't think I have ever experienced anything like that in, in my life. And I probably never will again because this Harry Potter mania is something that happens so rarely throughout history. I am so grateful to be a part of the generation who exp well, who grew up with Harry, Ron and Hermione. It's... Oh, I'm, I'm out of words now. Oh my god. Celia, I really hope that you are able to finish Deathly Hallows before the premiere. Y you sent me a tweet saying something like you only had uh, 36 hours or something to finish the book, which isn't a lot. I mean, you are a busy woman, but I believe in you and I I really hope that 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 blah blah blah. I can't speak now. I really hope that you can finish the book cuz yes, just do it. I'm starting to lose my ability to speak, so I'll end this video now. Chew well, <laughs> cuz I will see you tomorrow wearing a hat and you guys will see me again next week.